In this video, we are discussing the vowel sounds in English. We have already discussed the consonants. In the case of a consonant, there is a stricture or narrowing at some part of articulation. But in the case of a vowel sound, the air escapes without any obstruction or blockage. The tongue is not making contact with any articulating organ involved in any part of the mouth. So a vowel can be described as a oist sound. So all vowels are oist. Okay. The occult cords are lying close together in the production of these 20 vowel sounds. So the vowel can be described as a oist sound in the production of which the lung air is allowed to escape through the mouth or through the mouth and nose without producing any sort of audible friction. All vowels are oist and vowels are having more musical quality when compared with consonants and vowels themselves can form syllables. So next, vowels can be classified on the basis of the following criteria. The part of the tongue that is raised, the height to which the tongue is raised and third one, the position of the lips. The, coming to the first category, the part of the tongue that is raised. So in the articulation of a vowel, we know the tongue is not going to touch any part of the mouth. So the tongue raises and lowers. So the front part of the tongue can be raised to the in the position of the hard palate. The central part can be raised to the middle portion of the roof of the mouth or the back part of the tongue can be raised towards the soft palate. So depending upon the part of the tongue that is raised, if it is the front part of the tongue that is raised in the uh, upward position towards the hard palate, we call it front vowel. If the central part of the tongue is raised to the middle portion of the roof of the mouth, we call it central vowels. And if it's the back part of the tongue that is raised, we call it back vowels. Okay. So depending on the part of the tongue that is raised, we have through three, classif three classifications. The uh, front vowel, the central vowels and back vowels. Next criteria, the height to which the tongue is raised. So the tongue can lie flat like this. This is the open position. The tongue can be raised, can be raised to the roof of the mouth. It assumes a closed position. So this is the open position and this one is closed position. So for classification, we have two more position that is half open position and half close position okay half close position and this half open position so based on the height to which the tongue is raised we have four different positions open position this half open position half close and close position the next criteria of classification the position of the lips the lips can be rounded, it can remain flat. So based on the position of the lips, we have uh, rounded. If the lips are rounded, we call them round vowels. Okay. So if the lips are remaining flat, we call vowel sounds unrounded vowels.